The plague spreads through our streets. We cannot sit idly by while this pox infects our society. If this crazy street creature keeps on about war and... The evil walks among us. The enemy is here. We must act now before we are overrun with the vermin invaders. A plague spreads and fellow humans. I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. I am speaking of the hideous-looking aliens who walk the world of Taurus. The Wookies and Ithorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them. Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have formed the Anti-Alien League. The time has come for action. We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet. You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. Listen to me, people. That is a terrible scourge. Out of our way, citizen. We're on official Sith business. Just stand aside if you know what's good for you. Don't! Don't hurt my family! Look, just take what you want and get out! My mama says I have to stay out of the lower city. That's where the bad people live. I wonder if any of those Republic space pods survived crash landing in the Undercity. I've got a ton of things to do today. I can't talk to you. Stay out of the lower city. That place is overrun with gangs. Out of our way, citizen. We're on official Sith business. Just stand aside. What's this? Another off-worlder? Good greeting, sir. I am a friend. Then if you... That new mercenary working for Davik. I heard he's a Mandalorian. I wonder if he fought in a Mandalorian. Listen! This guy's just stirring up trouble. Sure, there's a lot of aliens on Terrace, but most of them stick to the lower city.
on it. Done. What are you doing? Don't go in there. That door is for employees only. You, you recognize these soldiers? But how? Unless... Unless you're a friend of the Republic. What? No! You don't tell the Sith! Please! I, I can explain all this. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. No, it's not. The Sith would torture men like these or worse. And you're not threatening this man while I'm present. Fine. Take these credits to seal your tongue, then leave this place. I don't want to have anything to do with a monster like you. Well, I understand some extra credits might help us in our mission, but I don't approve of your methods. Zelka's a good man. You shouldn't have done that. You've got your credits. Now please show yourself out. You're no longer welcome here. Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? Go... What? What do you want? Are you here to threaten me again? Well, it won't do you any good. I don't have anything left for you to steal. Can't you just leave me alone? Well, I did set this facility up to help those in need, so I suppose I can't really turn you away. Very well, you can see what I have in stock. this? Another off-worlder? I didn't realize how many of you... I heard the Sith are sending salvage teams down to the Undercity to recover those Republics. Greetings and good day. On behalf of the... I am afraid... I am afraid that is impossible. May I be able... na praka donko sercha chupa panki ah akupache yiku kuno takum just run the dio donga tak this you bongo chance we chi gratu mucha sha yiku ku takum
You again? Why do you keep bothering me? I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. No, I don't think so. I can't afford to trust anybody right now. Please, just leave me alone. Okay, I'll tell you. J just try and stay calm. The last thing I need is trouble with you and Holden. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. Wait, think about what you're doing. If that pig had just kept his hands to himself, I wouldn't have had to give him that scar with my vibroblade. He gets drunk and tries to force himself on me, and I get a bounty put on my head for defending myself. Where's the justice in that? Holden's the one to blame, not me. What's wrong with you? She doesn't deserve this. I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. You could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden... I doubt it. Hold... Goodbye and... Yes, what's on your mind? I'm all ears, beautiful. Is there something else you'd prefer I called you? I might consider it, but what are you gonna call me in exchange? Is that it? You can do better than that. Ouch! 
<laughs> that is better. Well, I bet beautiful doesn't sound so bad in comparison, though, does it? Guilty as charged. I bet you still have those questions in mind, though. Huh? Are they really necessary? No, no, I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. All my secrets are purely of the mundane variety, unfortunately. Nothing worth extracting, though. You're welcome to try. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people. For what? In the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow? Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I don't know. Unless you consider that you were a last-minute addition to the crew roster and you just happened to be one of the survivors. No. Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested to transfer aboard happens to survive. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board, but hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, for my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? All right, all right! You must be the most damn persistent woman I've ever met! We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. Sith are sending salvage teams down to the Undercity to recover those Republic escape pods. Don't bother me. I'm here on official Sith business. On it. Damn! Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. Anything I can... I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the crash sites have already been stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or Davix men got there first. I don't have anything good to say about those Swoop Gangs. Zooming around on their Swoop bikes, terrorizing the lower city like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the Hidden Vex were running the show. But ever since the rise of the Black Vulcan Gang, <laughs> the lower city has been nothing short of a war zone. The uh, <laughs> it's not smart to say bad things about the people in power, if you get my meaning. I just wish the Sith would ease up on the quarantine. They're killing my business. I can't say I like having them here in Upper City, but it could be worse, and we're still a lot better off than the Lower City, what with those swoop gangs and all. Oh, you're one of those off-worlders, aren't you? Come to Terrace for a short business trip and end up stuck here because of the Sith quarantine, right? Oh, you can't be too happy. Trapped on an unfamiliar world and all. But Terrace isn't so bad, as long as you stay in the upper city. Just try to avoid the Sith. And stay out of the lower city. The swoop gangs are totally out of control. Even Davids men are having trouble down there. 
Oh, Davik's a legitimate businessman, if you get my drift. Smuggling, slaving, extortion. Mm -hmm. They say he's a member of the Exchange, you know, the big intergalactic criminal organization. I've heard of the Exchange. Bad organization to cross. But if anyone has blockade breaking ships, however, it's them. I have to pay them a protection fee every month, but it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and his suppliers. I'm just smart enough not to ask where it came from, you understand? Be careful where you say that. Davik's got spies and agents everywhere. Besides, he's as much a part of Paris as the skyscrapers or the swoop gangs. Davik hates the Sith as much as anybody. The quarantine has put a real dent in his operations, too. But he's keeping a low profile as long as the occupation lasts. <laughs> Davik stays out of the way, and the Sith don't bother him. The swoop gangs could learn a thing or two from this tidy little arrangement, instead of always going after each other. Good day to you, then. Uh, remember to come back to my shop if you ever need any supplies. but a quarantine on the planet. It's bad enough. Out of our way, citizen. We're on official Sith business. Just stand aside if you know what's good for you. What do you want? Well...
The evil walks among us. The enemy is here. We must... What's this? Another off-worlder? I did. I heard a bunch of wreckage from the battle overhead crashed into the Undercity. This elevator is off limits. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith Patrol. I'm not here to give you On it. Damn! Listen to me, people. It pains me when the day... You are... Come on. The evil walks among us. The enemy is here. Hachu a punky. Tangaboon shot. Hachu a kaki. Chin up. Can chop. Keep. Keep. Nip. Tangaboon shot. Tanga bo Hatch Kaki China Kinch keep Tanga Bunch Kaki inch We team member Hakuji Kapa Run the eat Randi e chawat. Can chopa chawi ti chop twis yun kun kakin cha na kwat na bon kon. Kipuna na bon. Watawama muliri kin kuchina pala mule. Tangabun sh. Bona na muchasha. Tonga book shot. Had you a punky? Tonga book. Run.
This elevator is off. It's off. If you were supposed to... Move along. Huh. If the Sith cared anything about us, they'd stop that gang war in the lower city. 